Hello everyone. So today we are going to see dermatology. Usually we have five to seven questions from derma and most of them are going to be image based questions. So therefore we are going to look into all high yield images today. Let's dive into the lectures. Now, since high school days, we have been studying about what? Epidermis, dermis and hypodermis. Now for the FMG exam, you're going to know the layers of epidermis. It comes with a mnemonic, boys say girls like coffee. Let's write it down. Boys say girls like coffee. So B, B is for basal, S is for spinosum, G is for granulosum, L is for lucidum and C is for what? The top layer, corneum. Remember, lucidum is only seen in the palms and soles. Please remember this mnemonic. Boys say girls like coffee and you can follow the layers accordingly. Albinism is very important condition that has to be remembered. Actually, what happens is tyrosine gets converted into melanin. Via the enzyme tyrosinase. Tyrosinase. Yes. Now, what happens is that there is going to be either a very little melanin produced or no melanin due to the absence of this enzyme tyrosinase. What happens is the patient's hair is going to be white, even the eyebrow and also the eyelash. Good. Next, this is going to be the image of what? Vitiligo. It is an acquired condition and commonly happens at the second and third decade. Please remember second and third decade. And there is going to be no melanocytes in vitiligo. Yes. And these are the images of what? Segmental vitiligo. The above image here, this is going to be what? PA baldism. There is going to be whitish forelocks of hairs in the forehead. So this is going to be what? First one, Mongolian spot. These are flat, flat, bluish gray in color and they disappear on their own. You're going to reassure the parents that the child is going to be okay. Next, this is the image of what? Becker's nevus. It is going to be classically seen on one shoulder, especially on the upper trunk. Image of Becker nevus. Next, we have the image of what? Nevus ota. Remember O. O for aptal. O for aptal. What happens is that hyperpigmentation is going to be seen around the eye. Hyperpigmentation around the eye. O for aptal. And there is going to be involvement of the trigeminal nerve in nevus ota. Hand, foot, mouth disease is what you're going to see commonly when you start your practice. It is caused by what? Coxsackie virus. It is a contagious and mostly seen in young children. Remember, hand, foot and mouth. We are going to see what? Blisters in all these three places. The image over here, this is what? This is going to be erysipelas. Yes, you have to remember that it is caused by streptococcus species. And the patient is going to have what? Edematous. It is edematous, erythematous and also plague. Remember, edematous, erythematous, plagues. Once again, edematous, erythematous and plagues. What is this picture? Erysipelas. The third one is going to be chicken pox. Yes, chicken pox. It is caused by varizella zoster. This is going to be commonly seen in the trunk. And patient is going to have what? Dew drop on rose petal appearance. Dew drop on rose petal appearance seen in chicken pox. Dew drop on rose petal appearance seen in chicken pox. Psoriasis is a very important disease of dermatology. Let's see what psoriasis is. It is going to be itchy, scaly, itchy, scaly and dry patches. Especially we will be seeing what silvery white patches are seen in psoriasis. We have plague psoriasis, gutte psoriasis, pustula, scalp, nail and psoriatic erythroderma. Remember, pustula psoriasis is caused due to 
sudden withdrawal sudden withdrawal of steroids yes this is due to sudden withdrawal of steroids now nail psoriasis we are going to see what we will be seeing fitting fitting is going to be seen in nail psoriasis and we are going to see a very important sign called as oil drop sign very important for the exam please remember it's a question next we are going to also see auspice sign when i scraped the silvery white region there is going to be pinpoint bleeding this sign is called as what auspice sign please remember auspice sign is been commonly asked in the exam next cobner's phenomenon is also seen in psoriasis sporotrichosis this is actually caused by rose thorn pricks to the farmer yes and once the farmer gets pricked by this rose thorn what happens is he's going to have ulcerative lesions like this yes this is caused due to sporotrix schenkai organism question to be remembered for the exam next it may cause what lymph adenitis it may cause lymph adenitis on koh mount we are going to see cigar shaped bodies very good this is also going to be to be remembered for the exam next chromoblastomycosis we can see what cauliflower like nodules yes organism causing is going to be fonsacea pedrosoi fonsacea pedrosoi please remember we are going to see very important bodies which is called as what copper penny bodies copper penny body is seen in chromoblastomycosis or it is also called as what sclerotic body it's also called as sclerotic body sclerotic body good Ter lichen lichen planus remember they have five p's very important to be remember this will help us to simplify solving the mcqs now it is going to be what purple it is going to be purple in color next it is going to be polyglonal and it is going to be plana papules with flakes let's revise purple polyglonal planal papules and flakes very good we are going to see civet bodies civet bodies are seen in lichen planets civet bodies are seen in lichen planets very good look at the images here polygonal purple in color and they're going to be planar and we are going to be this is going to be what oral lichen planus and we also have what nail lichen planus and it's going to be this is called as what nail pterygium please look into the images yes <coughs> sturge weber syndrome is another important condition that has to be quickly revised let's revise it we are going to see what is this condition this is called as what port wine stain yes port wine stain is seen in what Sturge Weber syndrome. Yes, and apart from this, you need to also remember that there is going to be involvement of the first and second division of the trigeminal nerve. Very important. Sturge Weber syndrome. Point number one. You're going to remember port wine stain. Second, there is going to be involvement of first and second trigeminal nerve. Third, you're going to remember it can also cause glaucoma. And fourth, it's going to also read what lip. Lepto meningeal angioma, lep ipsilateral lepto meningeal angioma. Please at least do remember these four points on Sturt Weber syndrome. The image over here, this is going to be called as what? Benign periorbital tumor. Benign periorbital tumor. This can actually regress by itself. So, you're not going to do any treatment unless it disturbs the periorbital region or it grows massively. Please remember. Next, this is going to be the image of what? Yes, L E. Yes, we can see what? Butterfly shape, butterfly rashes. Very good. Remember, S L E is also going to affect the other parts of the body, especially the lungs and the kidneys. Remember, it can cause pleural effusion. Yes. And it can also lead to what? Lupus nephritis. Please remember lupus nephritis. It's question and this is also question. And it can also lead to what? Arthritis and also Reynolds phenomenon. Good. 
Look at the images here. Very important. First is going to be look at the peeling of the skin. It happens at the larger parts of the body. This is going to be staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome. Yes, 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 yes. Also called as what? Reiter's disease. Yes, you will see peeling at the larger parts of the body. Yeah. The next one is going to be called as toxic epidermal necrolysis, also called as TEN. Now, it is usually caused by medications. Rarely, it could be also what? Becoming life-threatening case. Now, fixed drug eruptions. This is how it looks like. It is due to delay in the type 4 hypersensitivity. Now, reoccurs at the same site on retaking the drug. Very important. Therefore, fixed drug eruption. If the patient saves the drug, patient has an eye chance that this can reoccur at the same site. Look at the image here. This is going to be impetigo. Yes, you are going to see what? Honey crust. And the second one, this is going to be what? Molluscum contagiosum. We are going to see centripetal umbilication. Umbilication. And the image over here, this is called as what? Melanoma. And the cancer starts at the melanocytes. Look at the image here. This is going to be what? Trichotillomania. Number one, this is going to be trichotillomania. The patient is going to pull or her own hairs. And we can see the hairs which have been plucked by the patient herself. This is called as trichotillomania. The second one, you're going to see patchy hair loss. This is called as what? Alopecia areata. Please remember. Next, we have erythrasma, which is going to have what? Coral red. Good. Next, we have scabies. Remember, sarcoptic scabies is very important. It can lead to what? Burrows and blisters. It can cause burrows and blister. Good. Let's revise squamous cell carcinoma. Look at the image here. Keratin deposits are seen in the histopathology. Whereas in the lesion here, we can also see keratin deposits. Farmer lesions on the shoulder. This could be what? Squamous cell carcinoma. Good. Next, this is the image of what? Condyloma acuminata. Here, treatment is going to be what? Cryotherapy. Treatment is going to be cryotherapy. And next, here we are going to see lymphogranuloma venarium. This is the image of what? LGV. And we can see bubos. Bubo can be seen in LGV. Let's discuss about leprosy quickly. We have what? Borderline leprosy. Remember, this is going to be borderline leprosy, especially seen in the thorax region. Remember, thorax region. Next, there is going to be involvement of also what? Ulnar nerves. Thickening of ulnar nerve is seen where? Borderline leprosy important. Next, we have lepromatous leprosy where leone faces is seen. Leone faces are seen in lepromatous leprosy so with this we have concluded all the high yields of dermatology i hope it's been useful and if anybody requires the pdf kindly dm in instagram dr araraj and i'll send you guys keep revising and we are going to rock in the exam this time all the best to you guys stay tuned for the next one cheers